name is Janika. I am an expat from Finland, living in the Netherlands, and welcome to this October Diaries vlog. Today we are having a beautiful sunny October day. It's a Sunday and me and Rul have a day off and we're currently waiting for a bus and we are heading to a castle today. arrived to this castle called Duivenvoorde and apparently it means pigeon something. What does Voorde mean? Yeah, I'm not sure actually. Oh, well pigeon something so I guess the pigeon castle and this castle is located in Voorschoten so basically in between The Hague and Leiden. So here they have uh, bags of apples and pears for sale at the entrance of the castle. Pretty nice. I think we're just about to enter. When you pay for the entrance, there is also an audio tour included in the price. They had one both in English and Dutch. But what surprised us was that the English audio tour was about a different subject than the Dutch one, and also much shorter. In the Dutch tour they told about the history of the place and its people. The English tour, however, concentrated more on things like the furniture and textiles used in the castle. Castle Duivenvoorde is one of the oldest castles located in South Holland, as it was first mentioned already in the year 1226. What makes this castle special is that it was never sold. It passed through from one generation to the next by inheritance through several noble houses. A lot of the families associated with this castle played also an important role in Dutch history. The last private owner who passed away in 1965 decided to leave the castle in the care of a foundation, who then restored it and turned the castle into a museum. just finished the castle tour and now we're about to visit this like restaurant slash cafe slash terrace that's right next to the castle and <laughs> here next to me I have a peacock that seems to be cleaning itself and apparently this like terrace is full of peacocks so that's quite fun hello Very nice place where to sit here in the sun. I ordered myself an iced tea and a piece of a carrot cake. Yeah. Thank you, Mel. Cheers. Looks so good. I haven't had a carrot cake in a long time. I was having trouble choosing which cake or pastry to get. I'm happy with my choice.
today I have a day off and I'm about to meet up with my friend Taru and we have a very wholesome day planned. We're first gonna visit this place called the Pumpkin Factory. So a place with a bunch of pumpkins and I'm planning to buy a pumpkin because last year I made this pumpkin soup and it was so good. I wanna make it this year again. And then after that we are going to this flower place. I've actually visited it before on one of my vlogs during the springtime but now now this time of the year, instead of tulips, they have dahlias and sunflowers. I, I have a feeling it's gonna be a very nice and cute day. We've arrived to our first stop of the day, which is this little pumpkin place. And this pumpkin looks just like a watermelon. Would you cut it first before cutting it? Uh, just put it like this. Are you gonna buy the mini ones? Yes. <laughs> Salt. This place is basically like someone's home that's been transformed into a pumpkin shop. <laughs> some freshly baked pumpkin cake. It's still warm. It's yeah, fresh out of the oven. <laughs> Let's try. Mm, so good. Do you like it? Yes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah. We have now arrived to the Tulperai. Look at all the flowers and we're almost the only people here like during the tulip season there's so much people and trying to get a nice photo without a bunch of people in the background is it's uh, challenging. Of course now it's a Wednesday so maybe in the weekend there's more people but I do feel like the dahlias are underrated. I don't know why and I actually think they're almost even nicer or at least as nice. Yeah it's absolutely beautiful and we're probably gonna be spending a few a good few hours taking photos. It's not easy. No. <laughs> Hard work. Hard work. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's so windy, it's making my eyes water. Well-deserved break. <laughs> exactly. And so we have finished our little photo shoots and stuff and bought ourselves some pumpkins. So it is time to start heading back home. Hello. Hello. Taro is changing her oils. Adding a Oh, adding oil. I don't know anything about cars, so I'm gonna stop filming for today. So I'll see you guys again a bit later. 
Today our plan is to go to the beach, to Katwijk beach that is relatively close by to Leiden. It only takes like about 20 minutes with the bus to get there. There's also this like nature area right next to the beach where we're planning to walk a bit. And today joining me and Rol is actually my dad and my dad's wife who both are visiting us currently from Switzerland. And once in a video before, I think it was in my Q&A video, someone asked that why hasn't my dad been on videos? So back then I promised that next time I'll see him he'll uh, make an appearance on the video. We're about to walk to their hotel and then we're going to the bus station from where we're taking the bus to Katwijk. We have just arrived to Katwijk and here is my dad. Hello. <laughs> Mette, do you want to say hello to the vlog? Hi. And this is Mette. <laughs> They're visiting us from Switzerland. Are you happy to be in the Netherlands? Fantastic place. <laughs> it's such a beautiful place here by the seaside. We're now gonna do a little walk by the dunes. It's, you get all your sea vitamins. You should film Mette when she's doing the marketing speech. Okay, Mette, yeah, now yeah. to the camera. <laughs> yeah. This is, uh, I think it's uh, sea buckthorn. And then someone's gonna there comment uh, that, oh no, that's actually super poisonous. No, <laughs> no, no, no. You wanna try? The super intense flavor. Well, why aren't you having any? Okay, I'm having one. Come on. This is okay, actually. Yeah. Are you Googling oh, it? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be here by the water, by the sea. I love it. arrived back to Leiden and my dad really wants to try the Dutch raw herring so they're currently waiting in the line <laughs> <laughs> Lekker lekker <laughs> yeah. Do you like it? Oh, <laughs> that's a good photo Would you eat it again? Absolutely <laughs> Everyone who comes to Netherlands has to try this. <laughs> yeah. It is now the next day. Yesterday evening after we came back from the beach, I didn't really feel much. We went out for dinner together and it was really nice. Now it's the next morning and I am actually just walking towards the hotel where my dad and Mette are staying and I'll be having breakfast with them. So they have like breakfast included in their hotel stay and I guess we'll be paying so that I can also have breakfast there because their flight leaves today at 2 p.m. I think. The only of still having time to meet each other is to meet now over breakfast. I'm a little bit late so I need to try and walk fast and hurry up. Hello! time. <laughs> That 
was a really nice breakfast. It was nice to still see my dad and Mette now in the morning. Unfortunately, I have to go back home now and they are headed to the airport, flying back to Switzerland. But yeah, back to reality, home and work. I just jumped on the train and heading to Amsterdam. I'm gonna be spending the day there. And I have been reunited with my friend Mia. We haven't seen each other since. When are we? Is it like the springtime or something? Maybe, or your birthday party? I don't know. No, we saw in the springtime once, that yeah. I remember, yeah. Because we went to the one cafe in Leiden. In Leiden, yeah. okay, so spring. But still, it's been so, a long time. But yeah, yeah, our plan for today is to actually visit Foam, uh, which is a photography museum in Amsterdam. Then visit some cute cafe, and then there's also this like Halloween parade. It's also today in Amsterdam, so we're gonna see that. Excited! to Amsterdam and we just took the metro and now we are going towards the foam museum but admiring some of the Amsterdam views first on the way By the way, isn't that the cutest street sign you've ever seen in your life? We now come to Foam, so the photography museum. My friend had some free tickets, so we didn't even need to pay. The normal price to pay is this much i'm not sure what exhibition they actually have going on it's always like a changing exhibition here but soon we'll find out well this is not the ideal floor for someone wearing a skirt like me <laughs> that's a bit <laughs> feels quite awkward <laughs> The first exhibition was about the use of AI in photography from various different artists. And well, it was interesting. In the next exhibition we got to see the work of Ara Guler, a photojournalist from Turkey, who captured a lot of the important historical moments in Istanbul and other parts of the country. How did you like the exhibition? First one was a bit weird. Second one was really cool. Got to learn a bit of history and photos were nice. Now we're gonna go and have something to eat. I'm feeling very, very hungry. <laughs> Too. We yeah. saw a nice looking bagel place on the way when we were walking here, so we were thinking maybe we could check that out. I decided to also get a chocolate chip cookie. Look at it. It's huge. It's bigger than your hand. Yeah, almost. It started raining. Luckily, I decided to put a rain jacket on. We're now waiting for that boat parade. We'd like to see it, so. Hopefully it comes soon, it's supposed to come here. Otherwise we no. just go to the closest bookshop, so... Yeah, those people over there look like they are somehow a part of the parade thing, I guess. We found some of the people who work for this parade thing. So it's basically the Mexican embassy who is organizing this. And they gave us some free bread. Uh, it's fluffy. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Smells good. What do you think? 
Yeah, it's good. I like it. I like it too. Apparently the parade will arrive in like 30 minutes and there's a bookshop right next to where the parade will go. So we thought let's, let's escape the rain for a little bit and visit this bookshop while we're waiting. They're coming, finally! Uh, they're underneath the <laughs> rain cover though. Yeah. Uh, you can't see anything. <laughs> well, it looks like they have fun, but... Yeah, but... We don't. <laughs> that was very underwhelming. <laughs> oh, there's Another one more. Another one. Maybe next time we should be on the boat. We are now on the train on our way back home. It's been a really nice day in Amsterdam. Uh, have you had a nice time, Mia? Yes, I did, but I'm tired. But it's from the <laughs> journey last uh, yesterday from Germany to the Netherlands. So oh, well, you need to relax usual. tonight. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and remember to also subscribe to my channel to join the journey. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.